Our universe is a thing of wonder. Scientists across the world have been trying to understand the workings of space for centuries, and whilst great progress has been made, there is still so much that we do not know. Every day, new things are discovered about the cosmos that our planet floats in, with new theories constantly emerging about what our world could really be a part of, or more so, who else could be out there. The millions of stars, planets and galaxies that hang thousands of miles above us in the night sky are all part of a solar system that is believed to be around 287 billion kilometers in diameter. Naturally, this throws up big and often unanswerable questions, but thanks to modern technology, our understanding of space is growing more and more as time goes on. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be looking at three truly fascinating space discoveries. The Violent Breakup of the Hyades Cluster 153 light-years away from the Sun sits the Hyades Cluster, a group of stars named after the Weeping Sisters of Hyas in Greek mythology. Legend has it that the sisters were turned into stars to deal with the grief they felt at their brother's death. Hyades, as a star cluster, has been recognized by researchers for centuries, and was even mentioned in Homer's Iliad as far back as the 8th century BC. Over time, the cluster has evolved and has undergone significant changes. As with all star clusters, gravitational forces are gently pulling Hyades apart, but scientists recently discovered something a little stranger. Recent research from the European Space Agency's also known as the ESA, has suggested that Hyades is being pulled apart in a much faster and more violent manner than other star clusters. Stars are being scattered further throughout the universe than has been observed in typical cluster breakups. Hyades' tails, think of these like the vapor trails that aircraft leave behind, have been noted to span thousands of light years, which is not something typically associated with these types of cosmic phenomena. The strangest thing, however, was that, when scientists used computer data to track the movements of the displaced stars across hundreds of millions of years, they did not seem to be accounted for. Researchers believe that, and I quote, there must have been a close interaction with this really massive clump, and the Hyades just got smashed, according to Teresa Jarabkova, a research fellow at the ESA. The way in which the stars are being pulled apart is to do with gravitational forces, but the forces seem much, much bigger than anything scientists have ever seen. Moreover, the forces are invisible and therefore being attributed to dark matter. Briefly, dark matter is a force that scientists believe could be behind supposedly unexplained phenomena in the galaxy. Whatever force is interacting with the Hyades star cluster is utterly gigantic. In fact, researchers think that it could be around 10 million times the mass of the Sun. Let us just hope it does not come any closer to Earth. The One Million New Galaxies in 300 Hours As we have discussed, the universe encompasses an area so large that we humans cannot even begin to comprehend that, within it, there are swarms of galaxies, each containing billions of stars, which are each home to many more planets. Naturally, the sheer scale of the universe has perplexed scientists for centuries. However, with recent technological advances, we are finally able to see what this deep, dark void of mystery has to offer. In November 2020, an advanced telescope accomplished something that would have taken a normal telescope 10 years to do. Known as the Australian Square Kilometre Array Pathfinder, or ASKAP for short, the telescope made quick work of about 3 million galaxies, managing to map them out in a mere 300 hours. This record-breaking feat was hailed by the scientific community and was deemed a game-changer by David McConnell, the astronomer who had led the observations. The telescope, which is tucked away in the scorching outback of Western Australia at the Murchison Radio Astronomy Observatory, capitalised on a new type of receiver that allows the telescope to take wide-field pictures in crisp detail. What this means is that instead of having to combine thousands of pictures in order to map the sky out, like the older generation of telescopes would have had to do, 
ASCAP only needs a few hundred photos, 903 to be exact, to create a detailed mapping. The fact that mappings of millions of galaxies can now be made with such ease and swiftness means that scientists are in a better position to actively monitor changes and detect cosmic phenomena. According to McConnell, this new development will lead to a greater understanding of some of the most cryptic entities in space, such as black holes and the activity of stars. These are some pretty staggering revelations, to say the least. However, it does not stop there. The amount of data that was generated during the observations was in the realm of 13.5 exabytes. You might be scratching your head at this figure, so in other words, the amount of data generated during those 300 hours was more than the entire amount stored by Google, Amazon, Microsoft and Facebook combined. But what did the final image actually look like and how was it put together? Well, due to the immensity of the data provided, a supercomputer was needed to convert all the raw data into a 2D image, with the final product coming in at a more reasonable 26 terabytes but a mind-boggling 70 billion pixels. These words might sound a little bit too technical for our liking, but one thing to take from this monumental feat is that our universe is slowly becoming more accessible to scientists. Ultimately, who knows what they could find next. The Milky Way's X-ray blobs The Milky Way is a galaxy containing hundreds of billions of stars, one of which also happens to be our Sun. Given it is our galaxy, the Milky Way has been a point of interest for scientists for decades now. The last event that we are going to talk about will only add to the mystery of our ancient galaxy, but will also serve as a better way to better understand some of the other phenomena that have baffled scientists for years. In early December 2020, scientists at the Planck Institute for Extraterrestrial Physics in Germany using an X-ray telescope stumbled upon two gargantuan bubbles of X-rays, emitting plasma out from the bottom and top of our galaxy. These bubbles spanned a distance of over 45,000 light-years, which is nearly half the width of the Milky Way. Or in more understandable terms, enough to travel from Earth to Pluto and back over 10 million times. The scientists hypothesized that the bubbles had formed in a similar way to the Fermi bubbles. These were gamma-ray bubbles discovered in 2010, acting in a similar way to the recently discovered X-ray ones, with the main difference being that the Fermi bubbles are a smaller structure. For those unfamiliar with the Fermi bubbles, they were formed from a powerful explosion some time ago, which scientists believe is related to the gigantic black hole at the center of our galaxy known as Sagittarius A. The waves generated from the event heated the surrounding dust and gas, leaving two spheres of highly active gamma rays in its stead. The energy contained in the newly found Erosita bubbles, named after the telescope that discovered it, is on an unfathomable scale, with scientists speculating that it measures around the same as 100,000 supernova explosions. The significance of this new revelation is that it provides a glimmer of hope for scientists trying to understand our galaxy's history. It is also hoped that the discovery could help them understand more about the black hole that dwells at the heart of our galaxy. One theory suggests that the explosion that formed the bubbles was initially caused by the black hole releasing a plume of intense energy as a result of what is known as a feeding frenzy. It is clear that there is much more to be learned from this recent discovery and it has left scientists craving for more. Telescopic scans are being carried out every six months to fill in the gaps in our understanding of our universe. The e Rosita mission is also expected to push on for at least another six years, so you can count on there being weirder and wackier but significant observations to come. With so many new revolutions come a vast number of new theories as to what could really make up space. The amount that humans now know about space is unprecedented, incredible, and only increasing. The cosmos is a place of intrigue, but perhaps also fear. So, these fascinating space discoveries are most definitely welcome. But what do you make of these outer space discoveries? And the question is, what will they find next? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries.
Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.